allows the city's town here to tarnish music and the administrative doodly internally PNGs. What I'm going to do is start off with a new video. I'm just going to use a whiteboard and I'm going to call it Dogs. Right, now I'm just going to change the resolution to 1080. I'm going to create that and then I'm going to add some dogs to me thing through this way. If I've got any. No, they may not good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some of my own stuff I've got here. There's an air dial. Oops, an air dial. I need my other hands. Hang on. So I've got an air dial, a boxer, a cavalier, a dashhound, a German Shepherd, and a Greyhound, then I'll do. Just, uh, just putting them on because I want to show you how to use them for um, doing their draw path. And I'll show you how to do the draw paths on each one if I can. Do them as best I can anyway. So I'll just do just put them down here, say like that. That one's a nice one, I like that one. Nice, so and that one's dash owned. Uh, put that one up there. That one there. I need to bring them down a bit. So if I do each one separate, and I'll show you how to do the. It's very easy to do the paths if you do it nice and steady. You can do a good uh, job of them. Right, so let's start off with the top one, the air dial. Right, so. What we can do, you can reduce, reduce it down a bit if you want to or whatever, like that. Um, you're already on path one, so you just press the plus button and you can go like that. Like that. Just click every centimetre or so ish along the perimeter of the actual image that you're doing if you want to. You can do it like this. This is the easy way of doing it. Just doing that. And do that there. Make sure you get any specific points where you might need to. You can do up there if you want to like that. Like that. Right, then come back down. You best to go come back down the same area, really. And then go across like that. And then. Right, so you, I mean you can do things like that, have, have a big gap if there's a, a straight line it doesn't matter as long as you've done it okay like that and then make sure you get the points like that any extra special points that you can see if you do them it'll make it look better Oh, that didn't work right. Hang on a moment. Just going to delete that one because that didn't work right. Now just go on to there. That should have gone up there. And that should have gone there. And there. And round. Like that. Just takes a few minutes of... Uh, control by yourself really just to uh, think about where you're going to put the spots really I mean as long as you hit the main points where you now there's a certain amount of importance in it then you should be okay really you know so like that's not right there look I say I missed that point there so I'll take that one off. Try again. That one there. Then that one there. Then that one there. Like that. Those sort of points which are 
you know you can tell is a important point you can do that like that you can go around there like that and then back that way do his doodah you have to like that and that's it right so that's one part now you could do the patination on it separate to the rest of it if you wanted to just to uh, give it thingy by adding a new path so that's what we, we should we'll do that then just to show you what I mean so what you're going to do is you're going to go across from there there to there there to there there to there just going to keep going across where the black parts are on here right it doesn't matter that I'm going in zigzag but we're going to just get it, try and get it to do that first before it does the rest of the the dog really so it shows that it's got a pattern on it there of that sort of thing right you can do that if you want to then you can do the other path of the other colour later if you wish got that right now what we can do path one we're gonna increase the size of path one and path two we're gonna increase the size of path two right we do that with that one when it comes up you can see it's got the patination of that one on right now we need path three and we're gonna do the rest right so we do The mouse part it'll cover mouse bit anyway. There you go. That for the legs, add a new path. Go across here. Bits there you can do. You can go back like that and do that. Go back. Right, now do another one for the for the eyes. You know. Should be okay. Right, oh, so that's the first one. Go on to the next one. Right now, this one very nice. Right, um, I'm going to start with going on the outside. Obviously, there we go. Come down here and do the flower if you want to. A separate thing if you want to do that first. around the flower, get the flower done. And then we can carry on around the actual animal then. It's 
not too hard really. Just nice and gentle in the land. Just take your time. And then nice and steady. You don't have to do everything but it all depends on how well you want it to look or how good you want it to be drawn. The more intricate you do it, the longer it'll take to do and the more work you have to do on it as well. If you want it to look like it's drawing every little piece, it will take forever. So it'll take a long time to do that, but you can you can make it look reasonable by doing it this way. Just doing it the outer edge first, then doing the odd bits here and there which you think are more important for people to see as being uh, drawn. So, as long as you make all the points that are seeable, because if they're being drawn that, that makes it look much better. Right, so I can do that, that should be okay. And zigzags, you can do a few zigzags at a time, but we'll do all of them. Do a few of them. Otherwise, it'll take you all day, so. Alright. the first part as you can see it's just giving you the outline what we can do is just increase the path size a little bit and it's starting to look like it's something there right next we'll do the ears I suppose and the brown patches on its face and um, that right um, we can do that as a new path right so that's what we're going to do we're going to start from down here and uh, work our way around here That's that part now. We'll do the white parts and then we'll do the yellow, the yellow part of the flower, I suppose, as well. We'll do that in a minute. There we go. There's five spurs, obviously. Uh 
Go across there now. Oh, uh, fairly good amount of uh, strips across. Doesn't matter if you go overdo it, but if you miss a place, you just you go back, back, back on it. If you want to, like I've done a couple of times. But you can't be 100% accurate every time, can you, anyway? That bit nearly done. Right, I'm going to go out here. Go straight across through the yellow as well. The uh, thing here, we might as well do that together. Because it's that close together anyway, really. And that's that one should be done in a moment. There you go. That should be okay. It looks like it's been done, especially if you take it to the animation to make it go a bit slower. Right? Do that and that and make it better. Right? So we've done that one. Let's save that. And then go on to the next one, which is that one, isn't it? Yeah. And here, I'll just try and do my best to get it done as quickly as possible. Right. Now, you can do this quickly like this one. Well, I'm going to do this one, he's going to be very quickly, because uh, this one's just going to be do the outside. And then colour it in on the back end of that. that one there you can click see anything that's a bit odd like an odd position you can do them if you possibly can the ones that are not odd you don't matter so much but it's anything that's in a different position completely you should do really There we go, that's that one. Now I'm going to increase the fast size on that one so it looks better when it's doing it. Like that. There you go. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to do path two. The path two I'm just going to go from side to side. Right from there down to here. And back up. Back across. Back across. Back across. Like that. If I do that, that's going to cover it all. You know, I'll colour from the top to the side like that. But I mean, it's drawing the out the uh, the perimeter of the actual animal, and the rest on it's doing colouring in the, the rest of the actual animal like that. So that'll be alright. You can do that if you want to. That's an easy way of doing it. And you've only got two paths on that one, so that's that's pretty good. And it looks alright. Right now, here's a bull terrier, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. I can do this one pretty easy as well. Um, time, what did I do a new path for? Sorry, I do a mistake there. Just get on the plus and start from somewhere about here. Wake up. Like that. I mean, you could do the white and the brown in separate parts, I suppose, if you wish. Because obviously it shows a distinctive pattern to the animal. And that's, that can be useful. 
you know to tell good people and idea what the animals before you even finish drawing it. So it's possible to do that like that. Done a number of these dogs anyway, so uh, hopefully they'll help the person I'm doing this for. With any luck, I'm just try my best anyway. So it's, it's not that hard. It's just time consuming, really, a little bit. Uh, you just do your best to do it as reasonable as you can. Well, you can do, really. If you want to do it more intricate, you can pick the uh, image up, bring it closer to you with the zoom in buttons. Uh -uh, and then continue it and make it better like that if you wish but I'm only doing it to show you so it don't really matter for me but you know all you gotta do is add the path size up a bit which will make a hell of a difference to all of it anyway so and what, it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the white piece next this is only a bit of the white there and a bit of white there then I'll do the brown after Right, so that's what I'll do. There you go. Click on there, click on there, click on there, click on there, click on there. Then we're going to click across here to there. Back, back that way, back that way, back that way, back that way, back that way. Back that way. Back. Right, now I'll do a new path for the rest of the brown. I start off with this five across here. Uh -huh. Down to here. Up to here. Back. Uh -huh. Try not, not to miss pieces if you can help it. Piece there on the club. Uh -huh. You do that. Cover it. Make sure you cover it if you can. And there we go. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay, that one's done nearly. There you go. Just need to do this bit down here. This part around here. I want to cover this. I'll just make sure it's done. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, that'll do for that one. So, we've done four. Let's do the last two. And this is a German Shepherd. Right, so this is quite a magnificent animal. Uh, I will just uh, start off at the bottom here. Work way right around here. That is. It's just a matter of getting the edges done, really. You can get the edge done. It's rest it's self explanatory really if you want to add extra bits to it you just do more intricate detail if you want to but it's, it's not necessarily if you're only just doing it for animation purposes on uh, some uh, if you're doing something for professional purposes I'll, I'll suggest you do it a little bit more intricate maybe but you know we'll use smaller gaps between them if you have to or even do the lines in between like these lines up here and that. If you want to do that, you can do that. Just to add intricate detail. But I'd say the mouse part for animals would be the face. Maybe the feet. Now if you do the feet intricately and the face intricately, the rest of it's just natural stuff here, like the hair and that. So if you unless it's like the uh, cavalier dog has got an amazing set of uh, air over its ears now then you could do that in intricate air um, lines if you wanted to which I was going to have and I thought nah it's going to take me too long so you know but uh, 
it depends on your time as well, doesn't it? I suppose. So, but these have got magnificent ears, so you could try doing the ears, the inside of the ears, and you know all the hairs coming off them or whatever. Anything that jumps out at the person who's seeing it should be done intricately, really, and not the like the face, for example, on this animal. You know what I mean? So let me show you what I mean by that in a minute. Right, because you got the actual patch here, which would be obviously more inclined to do than some of the other stuff. Right, because obviously that's profound in its uh, darkness there, and that one. Right, so that's that one done. So we'd, that's the first one. I'm just going to add to the path size like that. Now, the second path, and I'm just going to do the patch there. Right, so we do, we do, we're going along the patch like that. Just try and fill that patch in in a minute. Right, I'll go across there like that. Back. There. There. Right. So that'll be alright because then you know what it was from just those two pieces really. Um, right, so new path three. Let's do the face of the animal. We start off with the jawline, I suppose. Go around there, like that. Then we can go up here into the eye. You don't have to add thickness to the thing if you don't want to. Now, if you don't add thickness, you can do with the nose and things like that but um, obviously with this one I haven't changed the thickness so it's going to be a bit like that and then I can do the ears as well now. And that. Right, so that's all of the face stuff right, so there you go that looks like it's done right now we'll do the new path and do the rest so we'll do like that to there no matter which way you go, as long as you cover it properly. Or reasonably well, anyway. I mean, you could do the legs separately or so anything. Depends on how you want to do it, really. So, you know, like that. You have the legs there, like that. And go back up here. And across here, like that. Right. It's colouring all of it together there now. Right. Right, and we're just going to go over here. And that's done, nearly. There's that one stood. So we just save and return that. Last but not least, the greyhound. I'll just do that one. Right, so just go onto the path there, like that with this. Take on that, just go around there. This one should be t fairly easy, really, because compared to the others, this is uh, the only predominant thing is his face, really, on there. The rest on it's uh, an average build body, and it really. But, um, I don't really. Obviously, it's more like higher on quarters and things like that than the norm because of the um, leanness of the animal. But, you know, other than that, really, they're a lot more, a lot more diff difficult to do than any of the others, really. The, uh, the face is the only predominant feature, really, I suppose. Uh, we'll do that in a moment as a separate piece of reactor. The rest of it will just be coloured in. Uh, we can just do that. Go this way if I want to. 
I could have gone all the way up there and done the arch there if I would have wanted. Or you can do it this way. I've done this now. Nearly done, not far away. Right, I can go up there like that. Around there, do that. Leave that other piece there and come back. That's that right so that's the outline and I'm just gonna increase the path size of that there you go now all I can do now is just do the face have to do the face to the path for that then go across I could have been more intricate if I took the pass size right down. Well, I ain't bothered with that yet. So oh, if you want to do it, you can. But you know how to do it now anyway. And here's a path three, which is going to be the rest of it. So I'm just going to go from here. Go across there like that and back. backward and forward on it, it's fine. No colour it in. Um, if, you, if you miss a bit, it'll, it'll come back to it anyway. It'll miss a bit up there, so. But it'll, it'll colour it in at the end anyway. It doesn't matter, really. And, uh, you won't colour in the parts of the, it's not supposed to cover anyway, so. Ain't a problem there like that. And you go up there like that. Right, let's have a look at that. Uh, that's done. Right, so save that. And that's basically how to do it. So let's just see with preview. I mean, you can slow these down to make them look more. Uh, like they're actually drawing it but that looks pretty good from my point of view so let's see what you think okay i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe to Tony's music thank you